Welcome back to my channel and into my home. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and my channel is all about reclaiming the peace in your life through cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. If you like what you see, I hope that you'll click that subscribe button and join along with all my other supportive friends. Okay, so we're gonna be zone cleaning here in my kitchen and we're gonna be using my seven tasks that will have us cleaning everything from the ceiling all the way down to the floor. If you're wondering what those seven tasks are, I have a free printable here. Just go ahead and shoot me an email and I will send this off to you. My email is down in the description box. Okay, let's get started on this kitchen. All right, so as always, I'm gonna use this attachment on my dock pole so that way I can use the extension on the dock pole to swipe down all those cobwebs that might be stuck up there in the corners of the wall and the ceiling. I also use the attachment to dust off the fronts of the cabinets. So in this zone, I do all seven tasks, plus I have five additional tasks. They all include deep cleaning the appliances. Now typically, I break my kitchen down into two weeks. So in today's video, I'll be showing you week one of cleaning, plus I'm gonna also tackle the stovetop, microwave, and the coffee maker. And then next week, I'll also show you um, the second week of this zone. It was just a few weeks ago that I did that video of deep cleaning these cabinets, plus I conditioned the wood. So I don't need to do any more than dust the fronts today. Now when I get down to the bottom, I will be wiping them down with the Method Daily Wood Cleaner because they do have some spots that need to be cleaned off. Okay, so let's do the front of these glass cabinets with the spray away glass cleaner. Before I get down from the ladder, I'm going to go ahead and clean this side of the refrigerator and then I'll move the ladder so I can clean the other side. I don't know where we're going, don't know if I want to, even if I told you, now my heart has changed its mind. Mm. Hey listen, you need to understand, there's nothing wrong with you. I didn't mean to trick you into things I didn't want to Never meant to hurt you Never meant to make you cry No, I don't know if I wanna stay Oh, go I can't pretend I'm pretty pretty baby I know we 
can't be friends That's why I took some time To figure out what I really, 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 really want It's crazy To even think about Leaving us behind When we spend all of this time I know we have it good I thought it was me and you We were true But something doesn't feel right No, I don't know All right, so now I'm going to use the daily wood cleaner for the um, pantry door and the lower cabinets. Here's some of those spots that I was talking about. This is right underneath the sink, so a lot of water tends to drip down underneath these lower cabinets. If you watch real close, you'll see that once I open this cabinet, I have a scrub mommy that's trying to run away. All right, so let's tackle the microwave. Now I do have a splash guard that I keep at the top of the microwave, but for some reason, sometimes that thing doesn't get used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll add in a cup of water and then I'll heat it up for about four minutes so that it steams up everything in here. And while I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and wash the tray in the cover.
I'm going to let that steam work in the microwave just a little bit longer and I'm going to go ahead and work on the coffee bar area. This little vacuum comes in handy. I use it all the time to clean up the messes from the coffee grinder. To clean my coffee maker, I use about a half a pot of distilled vinegar and I just run it through. When I'm done running it through, I use the hot vinegar to soak my filters in. I'll show you that here in just a second. I'm not gonna play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. I'm the crazy ex girl you pretend you don't know. Cause you know I could ruin your life. I'm going to let these filters soak in this for just a few minutes and then I'll rinse them really well. Now while I wait, I'm going to run a couple of full pots of fresh water in the coffee maker to help flush out all the things that the vinegar loosened up. Plus, I want to rinse away all that vinegar. Wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side 
side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Come us crazy, but things are fine right With you and I, the future is right I'm going to go ahead and get the outside of this all wiped down and then I'm going to add vinegar into the single side. Now again, I'll run clear water through it once the vinegar has time to work. Alright, so now I'm going to work on my cast iron stove grates. I tried to take very good care of these grates because I know what can happen if you don't. Because, you know, cast iron can be a bit finicky. So, I'm just going to lay these out here and then I'll use some Dawn Power Wash to pull out any soaked in oil. I'm also going to take care of the knobs and the burners while I'm at it. While the power wash sits on the grates, I'm going to go ahead and use the method degreaser and I will do some detailed cleaning here on the stovetop. I'm also going to be using these XO brushes that I got off of Amazon.
get some confidence How many debates To earn some tailwind The years pass I'm still the same What will it take Why the way Up and down I'm losing ground All right, so now we're back to the grates, and I'm going to try to use this scrub brush to clean, but I end up realizing that the XO brushes work much better, and you'll see that I switch in just a minute. One thing about cast iron grates is you don't want them sitting in water because they will rust. Now I'm going to go ahead and let them dry here first for a few minutes and then when I put them back onto the stove I'll use a towel to wipe them all down. Alright, so I like to use this Wyman stainless steel wipe to add a layer of protection on my stainless steel and it also leaves a very nice shine. I 
I feel better every day The troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the silence of my room I sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me in my I'm showing you a close-up of some rough spots that I've had here on my cast iron grate. I need to find a good rust remover for cast iron so that I can remove it. Alright, so this is the exhaust fan vent that goes above my stove. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some power wash on it and I'll let it soak for just a little bit. see on the clock that it's starting to get late here and I'm pretty close to being done for the day. The only thing I didn't tackle today was cleaning the baseboards and mopping the floors. However, tomorrow I'm going to be filming my second week in this zone so you'll see me tackle all that during that video. But I still have a few more things to get done here before I can call it a night. Alright, so I'm going to finish washing up these last things and then I'll get everything rinsed and sitting out on the mats to dry. I hope that you like this video and that it's giving you inspiration and motivation to get deep cleaning done in your house. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and I would love to hear from you down in the comments. I'll see you again in Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed my friends.